Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Modern Warfare 3. Finally, after all this time, we have some good news for the Call of Duty franchise. So unfortunately, the source is a very reputable source, but we don't have a bunch of information behind it. The source is kind of just trust me, bro, but it's coming from Charlie Intel, who is arguably, if not objectively, the biggest Call of Duty news source out there, aside from like actual developers and things like that. So here we see the tweet from Charlie Intel saying, for what it's worth, we've heard from multiple sources that Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer and Warzone player count is higher than that of Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 at this point. They're talking about this point in the year, you know what I mean? Which is impressive considering Modern Warfare 2 is one of the best-selling CODs. Listening to the community and making changes actually works. So again, it's coming from Charlie Intel, which is one of the most reputable sources out there, but he's not really revealing his sources, which are probably people actually working at Activision, Sledgehammer Games, and things like that. Like, Charlie Intel knows a lot of people. If what he's saying is true, that is fantastic news for the Call of Duty franchise. I have said time and time again that I firmly believe that the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer is one of the best multiplayers of the Warzone era. It feels good because they brought back so many of the things that they took away. Well, mostly things that Infinity Ward decided to take away from us. Things like the mini-map, things like movement, things like normal maps that don't just have a bazillion windows everywhere for you to die from. Sledgehammer Games reverted a lot of those changes with Modern Warfare 3 and it's feeling really good. Like, the gameplay Modern Warfare 3 does feel really good. I like it a lot more than Modern Warfare 2. I definitely like it a lot more than Modern Warfare 2019. I like it more than Vanguard, and it's pretty close in comparison to Black Ops Cold War, at least in my opinion. Now, you guys may remember when the game first came out, we started covering all the news that apparently Modern Warfare 3's sales were down like 38% compared to Modern Warfare 2, which was pretty scary, right? Because they made so many positive changes, Sledgehammer that is, they made so many positive changes, they brought back things that Infinity Ward kept taking away from us, but the sales figures were not reflective of the positive changes that were being made. So for me, I was worried. I'm sure many of you guys out there as well. We were worried that, yes, they made these positive changes, but those positive changes are apparently resulting in lesser sales. And so as a result, they may go back to the Infinity Ward way of doing things and maybe not listen to the community as much as Sledgehammer Games did. But according to Charlie Intel, apparently, despite selling a lot less than Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 and the newer Warzone has more people playing it at this point in the year than what we had with Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 last year. So that is definitely some good news. That is fantastic news in my opinion. Just because it didn't result in nearly as many sales, it's resulting in more player retention, and that is a major factor for Activision and their shareholders, which does beg the question, will Treyarch actually follow through and double down on working and listening with the player base? There's still a number of things that we're missing from old school CODs, which I discussed in my recent video saying it's time for Treyarch to save COD. If they brought back Prestige Mode, it's a long shot, but if they brought back the headquarters, if they made kill streaks actually feel good, my goodness, Call of Duty could get back on track way faster, but it's just a matter of whether or not they're actually going to do it. Now, when it goes back to Infinity Ward, you guys know me, I could sit here and rant about Infinity Ward forever, but this is also fantastic news because of how Infinity Ward used to handle things, right? Infinity Ward made their games, Modern Warfare 2019 and Modern Warfare 2, they made those games the way that they were because they wanted to cater to the lowest common denominator. They did not care about the hardcore player base at all. They were all about bringing in and protecting the newer players. That's why the maps were designed the way that they were. That's why the time to kill was so fast. Like, I'm not going to show the interview again, but I've shown the interview so many times here in my channel. The reason why Modern Warfare 2019 was the way that it was was because they wanted to have a safe space for new players to get in, and the time to kill was very fast because they wanted bad players to be able to get kills that they shouldn't so they could feel good about themselves and try to get into the franchise. Like, the entire point of that game was to try to bring in this whole new audience. But I've said time and time again, believe it or not, that is not a winning strategy, trying to bring in new customers and new customers and new customers, because Call of Duty is a 20-year-old franchise. If people haven't picked it up by now, they're probably never going to pick it up. These people that they cater the entire game to, they might jump in, they might play for a couple of days of playtime, they might buy a bundle in the shop, but are they going to stick around? Probably not. If they weren't a COD fan before that point, they're probably not going to become a COD fan now. And so what they did is they alienated this player base, this hardcore player base that had been playing and buying every single Call of Duty for years and years, even over the course of a decade, have been playing and buying every single COD. They tried to phase those players out in exchange for these new players that they don't even know are going to stick around. Like, it was such a gamble and yes, they did sell well because of the Modern Warfare name. I mean, for sure, it's Modern Warfare for crying out loud. Now that we're Modern Warfare 3 and the game itself was kind of marketed as a giant DLC for $70 as compared to being a full-fledged game, like, 
I see why Modern Warfare 3 did not sell nearly as well, but the core gameplay is better, in my opinion. And of course, not everybody's going to agree with that, but I would argue the Modern Warfare series, the new one, has gotten better with each game. Like, Modern Warfare 2019 was literally designed for, like, 70-year-old grandparents and, like, 5-year-old kids. Like, that game was just, it was designed for new players that have never played the franchise before, and it really pushed out the hardcore community. Modern Warfare 2, they eased up on that a little bit. The maps were definitely a lot better. They weren't as safe spacey. The time to kill did feel a little bit better. Like, Modern Warfare 2 felt like an improvement, and now Modern Warfare 3, to me, feels like even more of an improvement over Modern Warfare 2. Like, it seems like Infinity Ward tried to reinvent the wheel, and the game sold really well, but people didn't actually stick around. You know what I mean? And so every year, it seems like they're reverting even more and more of these changes that Infinity Ward made, and as a result, more people are actually playing, which who would have thought if you actually listen to the community and make changes based on community feedback and stop thinking that you know better than your own player base, that more people are actually going to play. That is fantastic news, man. More people are playing COD right now than they were last year, and that is a good thing. They're going to look at that, they're going to look at their metrics, and they're going to say to themselves, hopefully, that yeah, maybe we should stop catering the game to people that don't even actually care about it and instead let's cater the game more to the people that have been playing the franchise for years and years the people that are buying all the battle passes the people that are buying all the bundles the people that are always going to be there your hardcore players they forgot about us for a number of years but we may be in a situation now potentially it's all yet to be seen but we may be in a situation now where they're going to start listening to the community even more and maybe cod will finally start to get back on track we'll have to wait and see ladies and gentlemen but definitely some good news coming from charlie intel here today and season three is getting pretty close here from Modern Warfare 3, which reportedly is going to be like an advanced warfare season, bringing back advanced warfare guns and God knows what when it comes to maps and features and things like that. So we'll have to wait and see. The future of Modern Warfare 3 could be potentially pretty fun if they continue to listen to the community and if they continue to see that player count rise, they may realize that, yeah, putting effort into your post-launch seasons is a good thing. Listening to the player base is a good thing. We'll have to wait and see, though. This could just be a one-off thing where things are going good right now if they go back to their old ways. I mean, it, it could happen. It could happen. I mean, COD's been around forever now. Nothing really surprises me anymore. But as always, I will be here with you guys every step of the way as we learn more and as this story develops and as we continue the life cycle here from Modern Warfare 3 as we get closer and closer to Black Ops Golf War. But guys, what do you think about this news? Let me know your thoughts and feelings down there in the comments. Thank you all so much for listening, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.